They're rolling in from the fields and into the political fray. These Catalan farmers are vowing to turn their tractors into barricades if police try to crack down on the referendum. We have come to defend the countryside and we are fighting for democratic rights and the right to protest. As this tractor column makes its way through Barcelona, you can see from the reaction of many of the people with 120 horsepower, all-wheel drive, for many, this is like the cavalry is coming. The night before, in the half-light of a small square, neighbours gather. This is one of many so-called defence committees. Grassroots groups, not controlled by any political party, on a mission to defend the vote. They are strategizing to resist police, who are under orders to close down schools to stop them being used as polling stations. The children will sleep in the schools all weekend to stop the police closing them down. We're afraid our neighborhood could be the first target of the police. Marching to the same drumbeat, students have occupied Barcelona University and set up their own defense committee. They've been sharing practical advice on civil disobedience tactics. I don't think people will go back home. They have been used also to volunteer with different organizations, uh, to go to assemblies, uh, to talk between each other and, yeah, and get to consensus. Uh, and I don't think this is something you can erase. Catalans are deeply divided and the centrist Ciudadanos party is among those opposing secession. Regional lawmaker Lorena Roldan is concerned about the emergence of citizen defence committees. During the civil war days, Barcelona was run by rival militia factions. It's like the Catalan government and its head, Mr Puigdemont, are driving a car with no brakes and are heading over the precipice and crashing into all Catalans. But expectations have been raised on the street and by set-piece political rallies, hopes that may now prove hard to contain. Carl Penhall, Al Jazeera, Barcelona, Spain.